When I was little, I was highly prone to car sickness, which resulted in my family having to leave me in the house for days at a time during the vacation season. I appreciated the time to myself and would spend most of my time writing, drawing, or watching my favorite television programs with the volume turned up far too loudly. However, when night fell, and I would become quite drowsy, anxiety would flood through me. I'd become jumpy, catching reflections in every mirror and window. Once, this drove me to do something I've since regretted. I simply allowed the light in the hallway to shine, enough so that it could leak into my bedroom through my slightly cracked door. Through the sliver of light at the foot of the door, a small shadow passed slowly back and forth from one corner to another. The shadow, to my knowledge, never left. So, for two years, I worked for a commercial cleaning company. My regular job was cleaning a professional building downtown. You know, one of those office buildings that's all oral surgeons and gynecologists. There were two security guards on shift every night. One sat in the lobby, kept an eye on it, while the other one watched the monitors from a room in the basement. I knew one of the regular guys, Doug, pretty well. When he was watching the monitors, he used to watch me on screen. If I was cleaning one of the offices, he'd look it up in the building directory and call. Sometimes to chat, but more often he'd do it to mess around, pretend to be a serial killer or something. It was dumb, but it was a pretty boring job. Anyway, so I'm cleaning this really tacky oral surgeons, right? Reflective black flooring, fake gold laid in the walls, and that really lame fake marble paint effect. I'm wiping down the chairs in the waiting area, when all of a sudden one of the phones starts to ring. I pick it up and there's a lot of heavy breathing, panting almost, and this sort of slurping sound, like someone sucking through their teeth, so I assume it's Doug thinking he's being funny. I hang up, but when I go down to the lobby on my way out, he's on his way in. He wasn't working that shift. I guess it could have been one of the guys who was on, but I've always assumed it was someone calling from outside. Probably just a prank call, though. That's not really the end of it. See, a few months later, I'm down in the basement with Doug watching the monitors and smoking. They cycle through different cameras on different floors, only holding for a few seconds on each. So one of the monitors switches to a camera in that same office... And I swear to God, a cabinet opens, and someone small, maybe a kid or a midget, climbs out and walks in the direction of the door. Doug tells me to wait there while he goes up to look, so he heads out, and I immediately lock the door behind him. He doesn't come back down until almost the end of his shift, and refuses to tell me what happened, other than to say that it's dealt with. A young man suffering from insomnia was trying to fall asleep one night. After many minutes, he was still awake, as it got later and later. He turned on his side and looked out the window. Noticing two streetlights in the distance, he rested his eyes on them, and soon fell asleep. The next night, he found himself once again kept awake by his sleep disorder. Remembering the remedy he tried the night before... He turned to his side and looked out the window for the two streetlights. He found them, and once again fell asleep peacefully. The next night, his troubles were back, but he simply looked out the window for the streetlights and rested his eyes on them. Tonight, they were flickering every few seconds. He assumed that the bulbs would soon burn out, and as his eyes began to fall shut, so too did the lights. He woke up in the morning feeling refreshed. As he got up, 
He looked out the window towards the streetlights, hoping someone would come to fix them. However, as he looked, he noticed something odd. There weren't streetlights there. He leaned closer to the window to double check, but still, the streetlights were nowhere to be found. Then he looked down, and noticed small claw marks on the windowsill, as if something was perching there. His insomnia got worse. <laughs>